So it's been a while since I've done a video, and you will have to excuse me. I have some serious allergies going on right now, so I sound like crap. So I'm going to try to get through this, but anyways. So I am so behind on doing my videos. I tell you, I have a lot of topics that I wanted to cover, but it just got put off. <laughs> anyways. I took uh, this week off of work and I thought I was going to be able to cover a few things but here where I'm at it's spring break and I do have a teenager in my house so anyways things didn't go as planned but we're just going to dig right in and I'm going to talk about the situation with Mama Knows Best Tucker and Boots. Now, as you can see, I already put out some screenshots, and I'm the first to say I, I don't like screenshots for myself. I have not one to take them and put them out. I know a lot of people do, and that's great. Sometimes, you know, you want to show proof and, and stuff like that, but the only reason why I did it is because Voices has been putting out that she did not have a clue about this Tucker. She was putting the blame, um, I think maybe on Natasha, that Tucker might, <clears throat> excuse me, been on Natasha's panel or maybe he came from Mama Knows Best. Now, this really doesn't prove anything really but maybe it does the thing is Natasha's main channels have been gone for I don't know a, a year maybe longer I don't know for sure but Tucker this account Tucker was using came out of May of last year, 10 months, as you can see, and she has been a paying member of Voices for seven months. So Voices, I'm sure, ha hasn't, she knows that, but she's kind of uh, pushed that under the rug when people have asked or you know, question this, okay? And just kind of put the blame on other people. This Tucker has been active in her, on her channel, right? For a while now. So anyways, I, I just put that out there. I'm going to kind of dig right in. Now, I hope that when I go over this, that people can kind of step back on any feelings that they might have on Boots, or not Boots, I'm sorry, on Mama Knows Best and some other ladies here on this Christmas wish list thing um, or any other feelings they might have on MKB and just look at this situation, okay? Because sometimes you might look at other things and and it might cloud what the main subject okay that that we're talking about on how you might feel about the person or what they might have done or what they might not have uh, done or whatever <clears throat> and um i just want to focus on this situation okay and i you know, I, I don't know all about what happened with the wish list or, or whatever. I know uh, some of it. And some people are already bringing up, you know, that were a part of Mama Knows Best community, the community she was in. They're like, oh, well, she was, she was a scammer at Christmas, right? And here's the thing. When people have a falling out, they know what somebody, um, what their, their past was, either 
in their personal life, whether it got, you know, put out there with their consent or without their consent, uh, or something that happened on YouTube, right? They're well aware of it when they're, when they're friends. But then when they have a falling out, all of a sudden it's a problem. And then they want to drag it up and say, oh my gosh, you know, and, and they bring all the stuff up. We, we see that all around in this drama circle, right? All of a sudden it's a problem and oh my gosh, they did this and they did that. Well, you guys are fine with all of it when you were friends. So we're hearing about now the people that were friends with Mama Knows Best. Now, now they want to bring up this Christmas wish list thing that we were all aware of or it was talked about. And like I said, I don't know all that went down. I know Natasha, her community purchased... Mama Knows Best Christmas wish list stuff, even after they had a falling out. But what they're not bringing up is Boots. Boots Mama. She also was in Natasha's community at one time. And her community, actually someone in Natasha's community, Kelly, Kelly Cares, also purchased Boots Mama everything on her wish list and she showed the proof because boots threw a little hissy because she didn't think things were going to be uh, purchased for her for Christmas because Natasha did make it clear that there was only so many funds that her community raised and people that were on the wish list you know, uh, the first people that were going to be bought for were people that had children. That makes sense, right? And so Boots, it's clear she doesn't have children. So Natasha said, you know, please don't put, you know, grandkids on there or nieces or nephews or whatever unless you have custody, custody I'm sorry, of them or they live in your, your home and you take care of them, you know, they don't be buying for, don't put people on there and buy in for, all, you know, extended family members. But Boots, on her wish list, she had a bunch of kids items on there. And Kelly bought everything on her wish list which included a lot of kids items when Boots doesn't have children. See, that wasn't called out by, by this community that's calling MKB a, a fraud, but isn't that, or a scammer, isn't that kind of scamming, right? Putting a bunch of kids items on there when you don't have children. Why wasn't that mentioned? Now people want to say she has a condition well, has that been proven? Now, I've always said, don't put your medical records out there. Don't do it. It's nobody's business. But if you are asking for donations or gifts or funding or anything like that, but if you claim it's because you have a condition, maybe that's a different story. But anyways, moving along, moving along. This Tucker claimed that she was a police officer, right? And that her husband was a police officer, a state trooper, patrol, whatever. And that she wrecked her vehicle, her, her patrol car, it rolled or it did whatever, and she was seriously hurt. And on top of that, she had a health issue, a severe health issue with her kidney, with one kidney. She had a blockage. So she had all these issues and, and she's over there in that community, right? The 
the community with Mama Knows Best, you know, the uh, voices, the Lycan community. And, you know, Lycan might not like that, but he, she might not have been directly with Lycan in that community, but they're all lumped together. Even though she might not have been in Lycan's community, uh, she was still, they're all in, I always said that there's like three different communities, Granny's, Natasha's, and then Lycan's. That might not seem fair. I don't think she literally ever went. I don't think Lycan knew much about her. I don't think she went directly to Lycan's community. But there, if she would have stuck around longer, she probably would have been in his community. If that makes any sense. Okay? But she was in Voices, and then she would go into Brokens, and she might have been in, I don't know, uh, Mama Knows Best. But Mama Knows Best channels down, so I'm, I'm not sure. I can't go look. But anyways, she made all these claims, right? And the thing is, is she was after taking Natasha down. And I'm going to say this a little bit later on the hate bonding. She was going to go after this 20k and everybody was excited about that right now Natasha's already had channels taken down so it looked like she was gonna do something or try to do something to go after Natasha since she was this quote police officer to get her in trouble legally like going to jail so this got some people excited right So, that community over there, a lot of people, you hear this over the, from that side, that says, you know, um, they're the intelligent ones, and the other side of the tracks are not, and they're uneducated, and I, I've heard morons and idiots uh, coming from them, and, you know, uneducated and, and stuff like that. You would think that they would have seen the red flags and things would have stuck out to them that something is wrong here. But a lot of them were sharing her PayPal, the ones that had channels, for these different things, you know, the accident, the move, the health reasons for this kidney. None of the red flags were there for them, in my opinion, because of the hate they had for Natasha. It made no sense. Some of the things that she was saying. Because you have some nurses over there, right? I mean, Voices says that she used to be a nurse. Scary. And yet, none of them caught on, or it didn't even cross their mind, that you can live with one kidney. Because she didn't talk about her other kidney being messed up. You can live with one kidney. She said she had a kidney blockage. And even in some of the chats I seen, because, you know, I went and looked at some replays. Some people did question it. Someone asked about a, a, a transplant. And this Tucker said, no, I, I can't do a kidney transplant. And some even asked about dialysis. I can't do dialysis either. Well, you wouldn't need a dialysis if the other kidney was fine. And your kidneys have to get, they, they, they have to, I'm sorry, um, it has to, um, I'm losing my train of thought. They have to get so bad, both kidneys, before you go on dialysis, okay? But she's like, no, no, I, I, can't, I can't do that. But no one questioned anything, right? They just went with it. 
And you have police officers who say that there, you know, used to be police officers. You have a lot of them that say that they have police officers in their family, but no one questioned anything about a police officer that, that rolled her vehicle and, and was hurt, but yet, you know, police officers, they're going to have workers comp for something like that, right? I mean, most employers have workers comp, you know, if they have enough employees, they have workers comp if someone is injured anyways, on the job injury. That's going to help out with that. And an police officers also, they're, they're going to have health insurance to help cover the cost of a, a health issue like a, a, a kidney, this kidney blockage. But no one caught on to, to any of that. Plus, this Tucker has a husband that, that's still a police officer. Now, some something was said, I think, that he might have lost his job, quit his job. I'm not even sure. But you still have an able-bodied worker in the home. I mean, a lot of people, they get hurt or they lose their job or whatever. And they don't even have a spouse or a partner. And they might have young children at home. But not Tucker, you know. Tucker doesn't, I think, an older person that doesn't have small children in the home and a spouse. Right? And some of these police officers, retired officers in that community, or they have family members that, they, they say they have family members that are, that are police officers, you know that police officers, they take care of their own. You know that thin blue line? If something happens, they hold fundraiser, fundraisers, I'm sorry. And if something happens like to a family member of one of their officers, they have fundraising that they do. Just like with firefighters, they do the same. They're not gonna leave one of their own out there high and dry like that. But nobody questions this at all. They just drop PayPal. You know, just like she said that, I mean, the whole state of Florida, they they can't even um, uh, handle this kidney issue, right? This Tucker has to move out of state to get care. But nobody over there with all this, you know, they're just so educated they don't even question any of this. All because, you know, this Tucker is going to take Natasha down, right? In my opinion, it's all that hate bonding. So they don't question nothing, nothing. She needs the money. We're going to do a PayPal for her. Share it, people. Hearts, hearts, hugs. We're thinking about you, Tucker. We love you. We're going to drop your PayPal. We believe you. Don't show no proof, honey. We don't need it. Okay? Bunch of red flags. And nobody thought nothing of it. All right? So, anyways... Boots Mama decided to be the one to do this PayPal for Tucker because another red flag is, you know, Tucker doesn't know how to do a PayPal. Well, you know, I guess that's not really a red flag. Some people don't know how to do a PayPal. But T Boots is going to do the PayPal, set it all up for Tucker. But here's this woman, you know, that is on the force and she's going to have to put it in her husband's name because she doesn't even have a, a checking account. She doesn't have a banking account at all. She's a police officer, but she doesn't have a joint account. She doesn't have a checking account. 
at all. So it's going to have to be in her husband's name. Okay, that, that's not another red flag? No? Okay, I guess I guess some people don't have, you know, they're, they're, they're an officer, but they've never had a checking account or a bank account at all, so we're going to put it in the husband's name. Okay, we're going to buy that one too, okay? No red flags there. So Boots is going to set it up in the husband's name. So Boots did. Now, Boots has had, has had access to this PayPal and Cash App account the entire time. The entire time. From day one. I had to put that on pause for a minute, so hopefully I can remember where I left off. I think I was saying that Boots <clears throat> had control of that PayPal the entire time. We will talk about that a little bit later, okay? So now I got to try to gather my thoughts, and I do have to put this out there that I don't have a script in front of me. I, I know I've said this before, so, you know, I'm just going off of memory here. And so, yes, I'm going to get sidetracked, might repeat myself. I'm doing the best I can here, okay? So, it, it, it really all sounds fishy, all right? All of it sounds bizarre, fishy. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and just bypass all of that. All right. And we're gonna get to the live video or the where Mama Mama Knows Best came on with um, Broken Justice. Because this is where um, the announcement comes, okay? And, and then we'll dig into some some other stuff. But we, we already know that um, Mama Knows Best donated, I think it was not donated, but let Tucker borrow, I think altogether it was like $350, 300 at one time, and then uh, it added up to about $50 here and there, 10 here 20 there five here whatever and then i think with boots it was like 14 or 1500 dollars okay to tucker and again boots had control of this paypal the entire time so she knew who was donating because there was other people that were donating money I guess with Boots and Mama Knows Best, it was not a donation. It was money that was supposed to be paid back because Boots said that it was her life savings, Mama Knows Best, it was a loan, but other people, they, they donated. So Boots knew the entire time what was, you know, she could see what was going in and out since she had control of it. But now with this live that went up, um, it went on for a couple of hours. Be and I guess some people were seeing, or you could see that there was an announcement going on. Now, I listened to it three different times, which I normally don't do. I didn't the couple of hours beforehand because before the this topic came up, okay? But I listened to the replay because it was like late at night or whatever. So the next day is when I actually listened to what happened. And then I went back and listened to it two different times. Because this is where I'm going to point out some lies. That voice is told. Lycan also confirmed it. Said that it was true what Voices was saying. And then the community that they're in also said this is what was told 
and it's not true. The, the live is still up, the video. You can go back and you can listen to it and see that it's not the truth. Now, they want to say, well, why did Mama knows best? Why did she wait two hours? It makes no sense. Why did she wait two hours to even bring this to light? Why didn't she talk about her utility bill or, you know, her bill or this entire situation? Why did she wait until midnight to talk about it? Well, she, she explained why she waited. She was going live with uh, Broken, and then, you know, I guess at midnight or whatever, then the bomb fell, okay? So what happened was Tucker told Mama Knows Best, and Boots, I guess, that Mama Knows Best money would be in this PayPal account, I guess, or in the bank or whatever, at midnight. Now, to back it up just a little bit, like I said, I might have to do this. I might have to go backwards. Mama Knows Best was approached not by Tucker, but by Boots, which is, again, very fishy, about letting Tucker borrow money. Because again, it was not a donation from Mama Knows Best. It was borrowing to get a trailer to move her stuff out of town so that she can get medical attention for her kidney. Okay, she needed a trailer. That's the story. Now, Boots did not deny any of this when they were on panel together. Again, Mama, Mama Knows Best, her story has not changed. and. Boots did not deny any of this. When they confront, you know, when she was confronting Boots about this stuff, none of it was denied. She said she could let her borrow the money, the three, 300, 350, whatever it was. But she needed that money back on the 9th or whatever to pay her electric bill. It needed to be paid. It can only be a loan. So, on the 9th, I guess, Tucker said the money would be in there, back in there, for Mama Knows Best. So, that's what Mama Knows Best was doing, is waiting until midnight, like Tucker said the money would be in there. So, she didn't want to say anything. She was hoping that this money would be back in there, and she didn't want to say anything. That's why she was waiting. She didn't want to call her out because she did say she thought it was a scam, a little bit of a scam. We'll go over that in a minute, too. Before then, but she had that little tiny bit of a hope that, you know, this was her friend and she was hoping that it wouldn't be. Now, if you think about it, if you let some if you lend somebody some money and you're praying that they're going to give it back when they say they are. Are you going to call them out or get nasty with them or do anything wrong before that date to piss them off? I don't think so, right? So anyways, she was hoping that that money would be in there at midnight, right? So she didn't do anything, didn't say anything. And then Boots, it seems like, went ahead before midnight and tried to get that money out for Mama Knows Best. Now, you could tell that Mama, no that Mama Knows Best was on the phone with Boots on this live because Broken Justice says she's on the phone with somebody and Boots and Mama Knows Best wasn't up there or whatever. So they were on the phone together. Now, why would Boots try to get this money out for MKB before midnight? That makes no sense. Not when Tucker said the money will be there after midnight or midnight or whatever. Why was she trying to do it before midnight? And not only that, 
Why would she not check to see if the money was there? Nobody asked Boots that question. Did you check to see what the balance was in there? Because she had access. She could check to see what the balance was. Why isn't anybody on that side asking Boots that question? Did you check to see what the balance was? Because she knows all about the PayPal. She know, you know, she knows all this. But they're not asking her these hard questions, no. So anyways, the other thing that's really fishy is Mama Knows Best said it right in front of Boots that Boots is the one that came to her and kept asking her for the money for Tucker. Tucker's not the one that asked her for the money. So why would Boots do that to her good friend, knowing that her good friend, Mama Knows Best, is on a fixed income, on disability. Mama Knows Best is the one that put that out there, that she's on disability, and that she has a minor child at home. Why would she keep harassing, basically, her and saying, you know, I, I she needs you to donate this, not donate, she needs you to give her this money to let her borrow it, over and over and over again, when Mama Knows Best at first said, no, I can't do it, I can't do it, why would she keep going at her over and over and over again until she finally gives in and says, okay, I can, but I absolutely need it back on this date? You would think that if Boots was a good friend, she would say, okay, MKB, I understand, and you know, I'll tell Tucker that you just can't do it. You know, you got to think about your own bills first. But no, she didn't. She kept going at Mama Knows Best over and over again. Again, that makes no sense. I say it many times. If it makes no sense, it's normally because it's not true. And when I, Mama Knows Best said this in front of Tucker, all of this stuff, Tucker didn't deny it. Or not in front of Tucker, uh, in front of Boots, I'm sorry. I will get tongue tied a lot. There's a lot to try to cover, and I'm trying to do it in a short amount of time, but I know it's not going to be short. But she kept harassing, in my opinion, harassing. She kept hounding Mama Knows Best about this money. She even said, well, since you waited a couple of days, or waited, she, she isn't going to, she's going to have to wait, Tucker is going to have to wait a couple more days to move to be able to get her trailer. Like making Mama Knows Best feel bad about it. Like it's her fault. Right? That's bizarre. I mean, this is supposed to be your friend. Your good friend. But anyways. So a lot of people are, are asking that question of why she waited. So you can tell Mama Knows Best was crying. She was upset. In my opinion, she's very sensitive. She does get uh, upset or, you know, we, we've heard her cry, uh, you know, quite a few times on, on live stream. She, you know, is a sensitive person. So she's trying to explain what happened uh, with this situation. Now, another thing that, that Voices wants to say is that Mama Knows Best said that her electric was going to be turned off and that it was going to be turned off by 3 o'clock the next day. That's a lie. Didn't happen. And Lycan confirmed it, and so did that community. It's a lie. Like I said, the video's up. Go listen to it. It's not true. And Lycan even played that clip that what Mama Knows Best said. And he goes, well, there you go. There it is. What Mama Knows Best said was those people are going to get my electric shut off. Those people are going to get my electric shut off. And that's the clip he played. What she said right after that is it's due the next day. And I'm not going to say this word for word. I don't have it wrote down. It's due the, the next day, I think she said it was. And if it's not paid, I'm going to have late charges, right? Now, some people might take it 
that uh, she was that it's going to be shut off. Maybe they were thinking it that way. She never, ever said that it was going to be shut off the next day at three. Voices, you're a liar. Okay? You lie a lot. Now, a lot of people are like, well, Voices tells the truth. Voices doesn't tell the truth. Right? Kind of like, um, you know, with the C virus vaccine card that she said that, you know, it didn't happen. There's a video out where she said she did do it because Molly asked her to make her one. Just like where she said uh, Granny was arrested twice last summer. Really? Granny put out there that she was on probation. That's no secret. If she would have been arrested while she's on probation, she would have never got off probation. Okay? And then Granny showed her proof of her record or whatever. It never happened. And also, like Voices said, that um, the only reason why she went after Natasha's older daughter, her pregnant older daughter, you know, all that vile, nasty stuff that you guys over there are okay with, she said the only reason why she did that was so that Natasha could get donations for her granddaughter. Are you kidding me? Voices does not want Natasha to get one dime. So if anybody buys that, I mean, we seen that video, right? We heard those vile words come out of her mouth. You could tell by her eyes. We seen the video of her and Granny have a falling out because Granny didn't condone it. She's like, I mean, they were friends and she said, I don't condone that. That was gross. And they had a falling out over that. So if you guys buy that BS, that that's the reason why she attacked Natasha's older daughter is so she can get donations for her granddaughter, more donations. Natasha didn't need any help to get any baby shower presents from Voices, okay? So, those are just a few things Voices has lied about. And she's lying about this. And Lycan agreed with it. He's like, yep, it, ha it didn't happen. Mama Knows Best never said those words. She said those people are going to get my electric shut off. Now, some people are saying, well, she did say it's going to be shut off. No, she said they're going to get it shut off. She didn't say it was going to be shut off. Two different things. You got to understand she was upset. She just found out she was totally scammed. Now, she did say that she had a feeling that this was a scam earlier after she donated but after she not donated i gotta watch how i say that after she gave the money but she didn't even know here's another thing that's really fishy when i say fishy and you're looking at this aquarium thing yeah good thing to have on um <laughs> have on my my tv is all these fish she told boots after boots kept asking her for this money right then she found out that Boots already gave her, and I'm not going to get the amount right, and that's okay. She gave her like about $600, was it? MKB didn't even know that. Boots didn't even tell her. How fishy is that? Boots never told her until after MKB gave her the $300. And then she she's like, yeah, I gave her money. And she's like, when MKB asked her how much, and she's like, what, you don't want to know or something like that? And then MKB told her, I, I feel like we're being scammed or it's fishy or whatever. And then she told Boots, don't give her any more money. And Boots said, I'm not going to. And then she turns around and gives her, what was it, $800 more or so? 
whatever it was to, to add up to the $1,400 or $1,500. That is fishy again, okay? But see, that side doesn't want to look at that. Boots does not deny any of this. None of it. It's not just MKB saying it. Boots is not denying none of it. So then, moving right along, you have that side. Okay, they, they were going on and on about, you know, this, this, this bill. This seems like to be the focus here. The whole focus is this bill. You have people that are saying we're not gonna let we're not gonna let your electric be shut off. So maybe they were thinking, you know, that her electric is gonna be shut off. When you have somebody that is only getting paid once a month because they're on disability, you have to think about it. If you have no other means, you know, no other income besides a few, you know, YouTube donations. And the person isn't giving back your money, you got scammed, your electric can very well get shut off, right? Some people are saying too, well, you know, she could have called the electric company and worked something out with them. That's true. That could happen. But how are you going to make up that extra money? They might have been able to put it on next month's bill, doubled it up, but still, how if you're on a fixed income... How are you going to make that up if you are only getting a certain amount each month? And like I said, if you are not able to pay it that month, uh, month most, I know my area, we're out of that pandemic uh, stuff. They are shutting utilities off. They weren't before. They are now. When the pandemic was going on, they weren't shutting stuff off. They are now. So... She very well could have got her electric shut off, okay? If she's not able to pay it that month. But we got to remember, she did not say that it was going to be shut off. She said those people are going to get my electric shut off because she had no other means to pay it that month. Just saying. So hopefully some that can clear that up and some people can st stand back and and take their goggles off on some of the things I'm trying to say if I'm explaining it well enough. So now other people want to say that um, let's see, there, there's just so much to cover about this stupid bill. It's ridiculous. So then uh, some people want, okay, they said that uh, the people in the chat are like, we're going we're gonna to cover this uh, bill, and she did not ask for any money at all, none. They said they were going to cover it, and that's great. That is awesome. So they asked her to drop her PayPal, and she didn't for the longest time and didn't say anything. And then she started dropping her, her PayPal, because Lycan made a comment, oh, well, Mama Knows Best dropped her PayPal like seven times. Um, she did drop it, and people were saying, it's not working. It's not working. So she did drop it quite a few times and said, well, try this. He made it sound like it's a bad thing. Well, people were saying it wasn't working. The link wasn't working. So anyways, she did drop it. They did meet it. People did donate. Great thing. It was asked, is this going to cover it? Okay, the rest, you know, let's send some to Boots. Boots dropped hers. Yada, yada. Now, Voices got up there like she normally has to insert herself. Some people are saying people asked her to come over there, that Boots asked her to come over there. I don't know if that's the case or not. So, Voices gets up there on a different panel. I don't even know what which one it was. And she is trying to say, because there was extra money that was donated, right? And she's trying to say that 
it was decided as a community that all the extra money went to boots. No, it was decided by voices, you know, because voices owns all the communities, I guess. But she is the one that decided on her own that any extra money that was donated would go to boots. Okay? Not the community. They didn't decide. It was voices that decided it. But, I mean, it made sense because Boots lost money, too. So, it, it would make sense. But, I mean, just kind of another lie that that voice has said. But she also said that Mama Knows Best was saying she, she changed up everything. I, I mean, and Kim had to say, I mean, Kim's been doing lives about this as well. Um, you know, put her two cents in and, you know... Calling MKB all, you know, this and that, and they're all on Boots' side. And said that, you know, MKB changed things up about where the extra money would go. And is saying that, you know, she was going to use the money in the community, for, or for the community, the extra money. And she's like, that's not where it's supposed to go. It was supposed to go uh, to Boots, and that's where we decided as a community. That's not what Mama Knows Best said. What she said, because Boots, let me back up a little bit, Boots said that her bank is a great bank and that they were going to take care of this for her. They were going to reimburse her. Now, and then all of a sudden she said her bank was not going to do it. They were not going to reimburse her. Normally if you put in a dispute, it takes a, takes a minute for them to decide what they're going to do, right? But I guess in Boots' case, they made a decision pretty quick. She's she's that special, and, you know, they put her first and made a decision right away. But they, um, Mama Knows Best said, if, see, voices... She doesn't give the whole story. That's normally her. Not the whole story or she, she just lies. Mama Knows Best said that if, big if there, if Boots Mama got all of her money back, then the extra money they were thinking about, you know, Broken Justice and, and Mama Knows Best, the extra money that was donated, they were thinking about doing something special for the community. Now, they could give the extra money back to the people that donated, but how would you do that? Um, how would you break that back up? I mean, I don't know. Um, when I donate, I just donate, but I don't know how you would do that. But, you know, most of the time people would just tell you to keep the money. And it wouldn't be fair if, if Boots's bank paid her all of her money back and if Mama Knows Best got her money back, it wouldn't be fair for either one of them to keep any extra money, right? So it would make sense for them to do something nice for the community if everybody told them just to keep the money, right? That's what Mama Knows Best was saying if, if Boots got the money back from her bank. But again, Voices likes to twist things like usual. So now, moving past that, they want to call out, like I said, I have to keep going back and forth. There's just so much to cover in this, it's ridiculous. They want to call out, um, the money was donated. She got enough to cover this bill. They want to say... I guess Mama Knows Best showed um, the bill, the receipt, or her paying it, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you paid it before the you paid it before you got the donations. You paid it before you got the donations." She's a scammer. Mama Knows Best tried to explain, but nobody was listening. Okay, she tried to explain that she did pay it before beforehand, 
that she paid it with the check. And nobody can step back and try to understand her. Of course, she's still upset. And sometimes when you're upset, things don't come out right. Or people just don't want to listen. Now, it sounds like to me that she postdated a check. I don't deal with checks. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But it sounds like she postdated a check. She was told by Tucker that Tucker was going to pay this on the 9th, right? She wanted to pay it before the due date so she didn't have extra fees. So she went ahead and wrote out a check so and, and paid it. And then she would have to worry about dealing with her bank later on if it would, you know, bounce or not cover it, whatever. Now, if you have, uh, and a lot of people are like, oh no, that's, that's impossible. That's impossible. Sounds like to me, she might have overdraft protection like a lot of us, right? They'll cover the bill, but you have fees on your bank account, your overdraft fees or whatever to pay. So think about it. Would you rather have a utility bill shut off and have to do reconnect fees, maybe another deposit, or if you're looking at eviction, would you rather deal with that or would you rather deal with overdraft fees by your bank? Now, overdraft protection will cover that check, cover the bill or whatever, but then, you know, you got your fees that you got to pay. Sounds like that's what Mama Knows Best did. She said that she did. She sent out a check ahead of time. Should you do that? Mm -mm. Like I said, what, what would, I'm sure a lot of you out there have done that, right? You post dated a check. That's what she was trying to explain, but not, it seems like none of them over there get that. The people that were her friends, and I'm sure that a lot of them have done it, did a post dated check, right? If you still deal with checks, like I said, I, I don't, but if you still deal with checks, you set out a check or something and you pay something ahead of time, even though, you know, you shouldn't, you do it anyways. She was told that money was going to be there on the 9th and she was hoping and praying it was. And if not, she would have to deal with her bank and figure it out, right? Better to figure it out than have a bunch of late fees or maybe chance having her electric shut off. It just depends on your electric company too. So anyways, that explains that easily. Some people might not get it, but it does. That seemed to be like a big deal to a lot of people. It really, and I don't know why. Well, yeah, I do because your leader and voices and some of the other people are telling you what to think and you're just going along with it. Then a lot of people are looking at the bill and automatically they're thinking because the nine looks like it could have been changed or it's not what it should be, yada, yada. So automatically that bill has been altered. And like in a saying, it, it was a seven. I, I, automatically that nine was a seven and it was changed. And whatever like and says goes, everybody's going on along with it. And that, that's how it is. Now I'm going to say this. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't say for sure. I'm not going to uh, be the one to say I know that it's a fact that it wasn't or it was. Um, I don't know. But I will tell you this. Like I said, I don't deal with checks. I mean, I do have checks, but I haven't used them forever. Okay. Um, I haven't had to order checks forever because I have... I go paperless. Now I can get online and look at my bill, but I have everything taken out, almost everything. It's only, I think, one thing that 
um, I have to call in uh, to pay, but almost all my bills um, automatically come out on the due date. That's how I have it set up. So I have those checks in case I absolutely have to have them, but I just don't deal with it. But before that, before I had that moons ago, I did have a bill that came in where the zero looked like a six, okay? Or it was vice versa, but I think it was the zero looked like a six. This was moons ago. And then one time, I kid you not, on my, um, it was my, uh, shoot. See, I lose my train of thought again, very easily. Um, it was my insurance bill. The due date was a year off. Shit you not, a year. And I had to call them because I am like, what the F, okay? What is this? The due date is literally a year off. They're not perfect, okay? They're not perfect. Now, I'm not saying, was it fudged? Was it not fudged? Guys, I'm not going to be the one to sit there and say it was or wasn't. I would not think she would, okay? But, like I said, I wasn't there, don't know. What I'm saying is you can't say, yep, I know it's a fact, that's a seven, it's an absolute fact. My people make it a fact and go with it, okay? But they are. They're going to follow the leader. What I'm saying is she had, I mean, that's on, online. I don't know if she took a screenshot, whatever. It is what it is. So moving along from that, I mean, there's even more. It gets more bizarre, more digging into this damn electric bill, right? Because we have to prove that MKB is the scammer, not Tucker, not some other shady things that, that Boots Mama did. No. No questions for Boots. No questions for anybody else that might be involved. We got to focus on this electric bill. That's what we're going to focus on. So then everybody was um, worried about money being uh, given to Boots after the, the overage, right? So they're trying to count it up, and I guess... Boots was contacting Mama Knows Best by text or whatever, and she was getting aggravated. Now, I don't know if it was later on that evening, first thing in the morning, they wanted Mama Knows Best to figure the overage and get back to them right away. And I think she said that she had some children, maybe her grandchildren were there along with her own child, and she was irritated. And she's like, you know, basically, I'll get to it when I can. But they wanted it like this. Now, I'm going to be mean. Some of y'all might not have kids, right? Or some of you all might can push your kids aside and be on YouTube 24-7. But some people... When you got young ones, they have to come first. Now, I don't know if this was on a weekend. I don't remember when all this was done. But, you know, kids need to be fed. Um, they might have had plans to, to do things or whatever. But, see, some are saying, oh, no, this should have came first. This should have came first. No, no, no. The kids should have came first. I understand that there was donations, okay? Okay. There was donations, and you all might have felt that it should have came first. It doesn't matter. The kids should have came first, all right? It could have waited just for a little bit for a couple hundred dollars to be accounted for, 
to go to Boots. But kids are always first, no matter what, okay? Just saying. But because she wasn't quick enough, and not only that, she had somebody else counting up the money as well. Because I think she said she was wrong in her count. So she had somebody else count it up. But she wasn't fast enough. So everybody is saying, oh, well, she's scamming. She should have got back with us right away. I think Voices said that too. Voices, you have no room to talk about scamming. Okay? Didn't you get some money from, from somebody? Now, I'm not going to say what, you know, what you used for that money. Because, you know, it is hearsay. But, you know, some people said you did this and that with your vehicle or whatever when you were given some money. And you weren't supposed to use it for that or whatever. But just saying. There's a lot of people uh, in this community that's used money that. They've had fundraisers for this and that, and yeah. But she was being hounded about giving Boots this money right now. And she was giving Boots, you know, money. But they're still saying she's like 90-some dollars short. And I know Lycan was trying to add it up, and the way he was doing that is... Everybody in chat that donated money, put your, you know, tell me, put your name or whatever, and was adding it up that way. That's ridiculous. But anyways, so they're also saying, you know, they're like, well, she raised $700 on her birthday the night before or something like that. The live is still up. Now, this came from uh, Kim and Voices. Seriously? I went over there and looked at it, and I mean, people could do cash apps or whatever, but... I didn't see that. And not only that, how many creators, I mean, are even the bigger creators, you know, in this community are raising $700 on, on their birthday? You guys aren't even raising that much on your birthday. Or even for, you know, a night that you're doing a live that much in super chats and stuff. You actually want all of us to believe that she raised $700 on her birthday. She said she got 25 one time. At one time, and I think either five or ten or uh, another time. You want us to believe she actually got $700 on her birthday. I know Kim said she raised hundreds. Really? You guys aren't even doing that. Give me a break. You want us to believe that. Okay. Because you guys said so? So then they are going on to say... She, you know, they're, they're, she's got this beautiful house. This beautiful house. She ain't hurting for money. Blah, blah, blah. You can be, and, and Mama Knows Best put out that she's on disability. I think I've said that. I'm not putting out, you know, putting that information out. And she's got this gorgeous, you know, crafting room and yada, yada, yada. Just because you're on disability or a fixed income does not mean you have to live in a shack. I don't know why people uh, have to have a stereotype because they're on disability. We don't know, I don't know, and I'm sure a lot of people don't know what the circumstances were when she bought her home. Um, a lot of people get a house passed down to them. You know, they inherit the house. Uh, maybe they went through a divorce and they got a house out, you know, through a divorce. Maybe they worked beforehand. Um, it depends on, you know, what area they live. They're able to get a nice house a lot cheaper. We have no idea, okay? Like I said, just because you live on disability or a fixed income does not mean you have to live in a shack. And you can make a home into a lovely home and I know that there was a picture uh, going around of a truck and a four-wheeler again you can get on the marketplace and you can buy a nice four-wheeler you can buy a truck we don't know if this is her truck or four-wheeler it could be her child's it could be her neighbors it could be something she had years ago 
We don't know. And it's none of our business. Right? You can buy whatever you want to buy with your own damn money. Just saying. They also want to say that she went on this trip to Gatlinburg. I don't know why they're bringing all this up. Maybe because it's like, well, why can't she afford to pay, pay her own electric bill? Well, see, that's the thing. She didn't, number one, she didn't ask anybody to pay it. Number two, she uh, got scammed out of money. Just like, you know, Boots did, right? But they want to bring up, you know, Gatlinburg. And she went on this, this trip to Gatlinburg. Now, I heard on the other side, they said she went on a week-long trip. Now, Mama Knows Best said she went for two days with her daughter to Gatlinburg. Now, and then in, in comments, I seen somebody say... And it's $400 at the resort, $400 a night at this resort. I don't know where she went, what resort. Now, I put out some of my personal info, just a little bit. And I did live in Tennessee for years, 18 miles from Gatlinburg. My kids still live there, all three of them. And I have been to a lot of resorts in Gatlinburg been to a lot of cabins in Gatlinburg. I have friends that own cabins in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And I have been to a place called the Wilderness of the Smokies. It's in Sevierville, which is right by Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. And when I went, I went with my daughter and my son-in-law. He was in the military at the time and he got a military discount. And I went for four days, uh, went with my sons and my daughter and my son-in-law, and I didn't pay a dime because they treated me, right? I have went to some cabins with my daughter and son-in-law and didn't pay a dime because they treated me again. And there's times I have taken them and didn't, you know, they didn't pay a dime because I treated them. It's what family does. So who's to say that her daughter didn't treat her to this, I don't know if it was a weekend or weekday. I mean, right now in Gatlinburg, it's off season, okay? My daughter and her husband and, the, and my grandkids just stayed at a six bedroom cabin. It was three stories. They just wanted to get away for the weekend in a big cabin. They had a hot tub, a pool table. It had a couple arcade games. They just wanted to get away from their place. I don't know why. They live on a mountain and they live in a cabin. Go figure. They wanted to stay at a huge place, okay? Um, they got it pretty cheap because it's off season. But anyways, just saying that the daughter could have took her mom. And mom might not have paid a dime. But see, you guys are reaching so far so that you can make her into a bad person, into the scammer, instead of looking at who the real scammer is or could be. Just saying. So they also want to bring up that after this happened, she went with her daughter to a sale right? Um, it sounds like she might have already made plans with her daughter to go on this outing. And, and I think Mama Knows Best said something like it was her um, maybe grandson or son's birthday. Not sure. I don't know if it was the same day or not. What was she supposed to do? Cancel it? Cancel her outing with her, her daughter? because of this situation now just because she went to a sale doesn't mean she's going to be buying a bunch of stuff right i think a consignment sale I, I don't know anything about this only that these people mentioned it i didn't even hear mama knows best talk about it this is just what these other people said that were her friends used to be her friends 
that she went to the sale with her daughter. So are, is she supposed to just cancel this outing she had with her daughter because of the situation to make them happy, right? I can't tell you how many times, like I said, I lived by Gatlinburg. How many times I went to Gatlinburg, and I love Thomas Kincaid. I would go into the gallery all the time. Never bought a thing in there. I would go to a lot of these shops. It's called window shopping, right? But I guess she was supposed to cancel and not go. Just to please these people. Makes no sense. Tell your daughter, I got to cancel so I can um, please everybody on YouTube. So moving along from that, some people ask for their money back. Like I said, when I donate, I, I just donate. But if some people felt like they were being scammed, I guess, you know, you can ask for your money back. So she asked her daughter, and she did say she got the money from her daughter. So now everybody wants to say, well, if she asked her daughter for money, then, you know, why didn't she ask her daughter for the money for, for the bill? Well, maybe she, and, and this is just my opinion, maybe she was embarrassed. Maybe she was embarrassed for either A, because she loaned some stranger off of YouTube her bill money when she's on a fixed income, and she didn't want her daughter to know. I know I would be embarrassed, right? I would be really embarrassed to tell my kid that. Or B, I don't know if her child listens to any of this garbage, and that's what it is, it's garbage, and what some people in that community say. Maybe she didn't want her daughter knowing what goes on in that community and what is said. Because some of it's vile, very vile. A lot of the stuff that goes on in this whole community is vile. And maybe her daughter would, you know, check some of the stuff out. Who knows? I would go with A first, okay? Just being embarrassed that money was loaned out. But she felt she had no choice because these people were asking for their money back. And, you know, she could have easily just got off YouTube and ran like to the moon, right? I heard to the moon is back in that community under a different name and nobody's saying a word, right? All the people over there that, that supported all that nonsense for two weeks or longer, she took almost a thousand dollars and ran with it. You know, for that lawyer that she never hired, she didn't even show up to court. Why aren't you guys all calling that out? You guys supported that? And I guess she might be over back in the community, right? She's just not using to the moon. But you guys know who she is. Never called that out. The true scammer. Didn't even show up to court. Never hired that attorney. But no, we're not going to say a word about that. Of course not. Because she was going after... T.T., Angela, and Granny. And we don't like them, right? So that's fine. That's fine. We're not going to call that out. We're going we're, we're gonna to be real quiet about that. Let, let, let's, let's call out... Let's call out Mama Knows Best. She's an easy target. Okay? Let's get back to Mama Knows Best. We'll be quiet about To The Moon. Okay? It's absolutely ridiculous that this electric bill turned into such a big issue. Instead of looking into this a little bit deeper. Now, a lot of people I seen over there too said, yes, it's tax time for Mama Knows Best. Are you kidding me? I, I, I'm really 
boggled. I mean, you guys say that you're so intelligent and nobody else is in this community. Mama knows best and you guys know this because you're friends with her, you were. She says that she's on disability, right? And that's her only income besides doing a little bit of, um, I think she does some crafts. And she did have her YouTube channel for a little bit. She and I got that 1K at the same time. I think the same day or maybe a day off. Okay. She got monetized immediately. I just never monetized yet. And that was six months ago. So that would have been what? Probably around October. Maybe the end of September. But, you know, we're going to go for October. We're going to say at least it was about three months of 2022. So she would have been able to claim three months worth in the year 2022 for taxes. Now, I do my own taxes, okay? I do some family members' taxes and some friends. No, that's not what I do for a living. But doing taxes is pretty simple. Now, when you're on disability, I've talked about this a little bit before, about taxes. But when you're on disability, a lot of people don't even have to file taxes if that's your sole income, okay? Now, if you're married and your spouse works or whatever, you know, it could be a different story. But if that's your sole income, like I said, a lot of people don't even have to file. Well, now, when it comes to earned income and child tax credit, that's where people get their money, right? For kids. When you're on disability, that's not earned income. You don't get jack squat for earned income or child tax credit. That's a fact. It's kind of like workers comp. That's not an earned income. So the only thing that she could have claimed, right, to try to get any earned income or child tax credit is that little bit of money that she would have made on her channel for three months. Or it might have even been two months. Now, how much do you think that she made in that amount of time on Super Chats and memberships? Because you don't make really squat, right? Just for YouTube, having a YouTube channel and being monetized. And then you got to be in a in a good bracket. And what I mean by that is you have to have made a certain amount. You're in a bracket for that earned income, right? It it goes up. You got to be you got to make a, a a decent amount. I mean, not not you got a bracket. You can go, if y'all want to, you can go Google it and, and they have a, a calculator. Like if you got one child, two child, or two children, sorry, to see how much you would actually make earned income. To see if, if you made 5000 10000 with one child, 20000 with one child, okay, to see how much you would get on earned income. She would have had to have made, you know, over, I'm just going to guess, four or $5,000 to, to get, you know, maybe $1,000 on earned income. That's a guess. Do you even think she made that much in three months? I mean, it's none of our business, really. What she got back in taxes is nobody's business. Some people haven't even got their taxes back yet. Some have. But I'm just saying that's what people are saying over there in that community that used to be our friends. Well, it's tax time. It's, you know, it's Mama Knows Best tax time. Saying that she, you know, could have paid this bill. 
maybe she did get some money back, right? And maybe she, she paid other bills. Who knows? It's none of your business. But what I'm saying is some people, they don't get when you're on disability. That's not an earned income. Okay? Just saying. You don't get that earned income for being on disability for your kids. So moving on from that, I, I just had to put that out there because I am just, people, when they put this garbage out there and they don't know what they're talking about, it's insane. So I can go on and on about a lot of things that were, that were wrong about this. And I know I'm leaving some stuff out, but in my opinion, Mama Knows Best was thrown under the bus. And Boots Mama and Voices, right? No one's going to throw Voices under the bus for anything. Because, see, she does have a following. She has a following. And she's connected with others that, that have followings. Like uh, Red Kim. Uh, and some other people. So they're going to believe them over like mama knows best because mama knows best cannot give them what these other people can that is subs and that is some recognition and they like boots mama okay they're not going to go against them and and lose their subs because they all share these subs right they're not, uh, and I know Mama Knows Best in uh, Broken Justice has subs, and I'm not trying to degrade uh, their subs or anything like that, but Red Kim and Voices, they've been around longer, okay, if that makes any sense, and in my opinion, Voices still has a beef with Mama Knows Best over that Um, situation with Kim and Crafton in that phone call about uh, it not being muted when that was voices as fault. She was on the call, right? She's been around these tubes for a while. She's the one that did not mute her phone call, but she, she's always blamed it on Mama Knows Best, right? She said it was her fault. And broken justice she called her a see you next Tuesday so in my opinion she didn't like these ladies at all to begin with or after that she just liked getting up on the panel and stir, stirring the pot and she even brought that up again how it was Mama Knows Best's fault it was an easy target to throw them under the bus and, you know, we don't care about them. We really never did, you know. They were just fun to go up there every now and again and whatever. But no one in this community is going to go against voices. I mean, you see how that turned out for Granny, right? Voices doesn't care. And they're not going to go against Kim. They're not going to go against these other people. So they're going to go against Mama Knows Best. Now, I do have to say this. Mama Knows Best should have said no. She does have to take some blame. And see, they keep saying that uh, just like she accidentally docks somebody, okay? That wasn't on purpose. I, I, I seen that when it happened. It was not on purpose. And she did say she was sorry. They keep saying that she, she did not apologize. She absolutely did. She did say she was sorry. And she even said it again on the panel with Broken Justice that she was very sorry. And she even said, don't know if it's true, she said she texted this person and said she was sorry, but this person keeps saying, no, no, she didn't. So how many times can you say I'm sorry? 
But they're saying she never did. They're lying again. I mean, all they do is lie. Lie after lie after lie. She should have said, and they said she's not taking accountability for this. Now, at first, it seemed like she wasn't. She was saying, Boots is the one that kept doing, you know, kept harassing me, yada, yada, yada. That's true, but she is taking accountability now. She's saying, I should have said no, absolutely. You put your family first. She ha She's a grown-ass adult. She needs to take accountability that she should have said absolutely not now i do believe this is my opinion that mama knows best is easily manipulated she wanted friends here on youtube she is very trusting can't be that way not for strangers on the internet not when it comes to your money and i'm sorry not when it comes to some very private information about yourself But she should have said no. And yes, that, that is her fault. Absolutely. I'm not saying that it's not. And she has come to terms with it, I think, that it is her fault. Because she said it is. She has to own that. Right? And she has paid, I think, most of the money back. I think she, or the people that asked for it back, she has gave that back. So she's still out money, too. Right? Now, with that said, everybody keeps saying, well, Boots showed all the receipts. Mama knows best did, and Boots did. Well, the only thing Boots have shown is the money that was sent, right? Now, Lycan said that he looked into everything, the PayPal. It all looks legit. Boots has shown where she has sent money to Tucker, but it also shows where MKB has, has sent the money too. But did anybody see where anybody else has sent money to this PayPal? Because um, on Natasha's case discussion said that she sent money, $70. I don't know, but the only thing that Boots has really shown is that she sent money to this Tucker. And I think I might have already said this, but every time money got sent, it got immediately taken out. Boots would have known this. Now, if this is somebody that I don't know that Boots knows personally, right? What is that really proving? When I say something fishy is going on, Something fishy's going on. Who in their right mind, who in their right mind would send their life savings to a stranger on the internet? I can understand a couple of hundred dollars. I mean, I wouldn't do it um, unless it's a donation and unless I could afford it and it's for a good cause. I don't know. But their life savings, right? But Boots did. Boots did. Now, like I said, they're all believing Boots, but who's to say it's not somebody that, I don't know, they personally know? Not making accusations, but this is all very fishy on Boots' part. And maybe someone else's. I know a lot of people said that, you know, could it be Tucker? Could Tucker be voices? No, Mama Knows Best said that. And, and you know, this Tucker sounds like it's it's not a voice changer. That it's, it's not voices. It's not boots. This is a, a an individual person that's not them with a voice changer. But is this somebody that they know personally, right? That money could have been sent to them. So the proof that that was shown to Lycan is legit. 
money got sent to this person, right? But later on, could have got sent right back to them in a different way. Maybe split up. Maybe this got caught too quick or maybe there was hopes that more money would have been donated or maybe it has been in different ways throughout the community, don't know. Or maybe different communities. Have no clue how long this has been going on. That's why it was pretty important, in my opinion, for it to be called out. How long could this have went on? Or what was the what was the end goal here to really get a good chunk of money? Because if you think about it, think about it. There's too many things that don't make sense. Like with Boots setting everything up herself, right? Knowing exactly how much was going in and out the entire time. Boots was the one asking everybody for money for this person knowing that they didn't have the money asking her good friends or asking her good friend knowing she didn't have it I mean Kind of like a, a good scam going on that uh, your butt's covered. If anybody wants, I mean, those receipts, boom, boom, I got the receipts. It's like your butt was covered. If anybody asked, I mean, I got the receipts right away if anybody asked. But, you know, it, it also sounded really fishy that, you know, the phone number wasn't working for Lycan. You know, and I locked myself out. I mean, none of that stuff makes sense. I mean, it's kind of fishy that Tucker is the name of Voices Dog. That was fishy, too. I mean, everybody says, you know, that's a kind of a popular name for a dog, too. But, I mean, I don't know. But then Voices said on a panel that we're not going to talk about this again. It's done. We're not talking about it again. And then Boots turned on Mama Knows Best so quick. For what? Why did she turn on Mama Knows Best right after this happened? She did nothing wrong. She did nothing to Boots at all. But she turned on her. And then she said that she would come in Mama Knows Best chat under an alt. Because Lycan said that he did not want any of his people over there with scammers. He did not want to see anybody over there. They couldn't come back. And people were giving up their wrenches and they were, okay, listening. And none of his people will go over there anymore because they're not welcome back. Isn't that bizarre? You got, you got to be, you know, this loyal thing. Even though some people over there might say, you know what, something's not right here. Something is fishy about voices. Something's fishy about boots. But if I want to belong to Lycan and his legion, I can't go over there. Something isn't right about that. Because, you know, Lycan's got his mind made up because he's not going to go against voices or Kim or Crafton or any of them because, you know, they all they all came together and share subs now, you know, in my opinion, all that hate bonding going on. He, he grew even bigger now with the common enemy, you know, because they couldn't stand each other not too long ago, right? And then Boots... You know, she was asking for a computer from Case Discussion, was it? And then also from Broken Justice, and, and now she's got a new computer. But see, Lycan is saying, well, a new computer could, and, you know, 
voice is the same thing. A new computer can mean something totally different. It can be refurbished. And then voices, well, let me take that back. She was asking and it had to be specific, okay? It had to be a touch screen. It had to be this and that, right? I'm sorry, but when you're begging for something or asking for something for free from somebody, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's what I used to tell my kids. But she had to have specifics when she was asking for something for free. But I guess all of a sudden now she's got a new laptop, but she gave away her life savings, right? But Lichen is not like side-eyeing that. No, 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 no. He isn't going to go against Boots because Boots is in with it with voices. You know, they're in good. And Boots is in good with Kim. And she's in good with the rest of the community. So, no, he's he's not going to raise an eyebrow on that. And Voices says that she applied for a program to get a computer. Now, that can be true. But I know most... I, I don't know. I mean, does that make sense? I know that they, they would have programs if you have kids and the children need it for school or if you're in like a job training or if you're in school yourself, college or something to get a computer. But why would you, why would they have a program just to get a free computer just because? Because wouldn't everybody and their brother try to get a computer just because? Wouldn't uh, the kids or people in school, college, wouldn't they like come first? And there's like, I'm sure many people out there that are in need of computers for that reason. But I, you know, Boots is this person that can just get her bank to, you know, give her a, a decision like right away and I guess she's one that gets approved to get a, a a free computer on a program now they could have these programs out there I guess for anybody I don't know but all of these things if you put them together they just don't seem right but nobody over there is taking off those loyal goggles and taking a look at anything. Because in my opinion, Mama Knows Best was someone easy to throw under the bus so that nobody looks at anything else. So with that, I'm gonna go. This went way too long. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to do some more videos. I'm gonna do one on the cult-like behavior I'm going to do one on fundraising, and I'm also going to do one addressing another creator that is disappointed in me. Yeah, we're going to do one on that. That might be my next one. So everyone have a good one. I'm sorry this lasted a long time. Hopefully, um, I got my all my points across okay, and I know I left a lot of things out, but... Anyways, everyone have a great Friday, great weekend, and we'll talk to you again.